L.C. Walker Arena. We're between the first and second periods. A home opener here at a full house. The first opening night sellout in Muskegon hockey history. Got to make Tony Lisman a happy man as he worked awfully hard to put this together and make tonight happy. Now looking around at uh, all the people he sees here tonight, again, he's got to be uh, pleased and know it was a job well done. Not a bad first period of play. Coming off that 5-4 loss last night to Flint, the Muskegon Fury came out fast. The goal by Joe Dragon tonight, his second of the goal game about uh, uh, just about five minutes into the first period, gave the Fury a 1-0 lead. But the Brantford Smoke got the next two on goals by Corey Benica and Paul Pinello. Paul Pinello, they both scored within about 34 seconds of one another. And the Brantford Smoke have taken a 2-1 lead. Shots on goal after the first period. Both teams had 11 apiece. Eric Rimo, we get a chance to see Eric Rimo for the first time tonight in goal. Looked pretty good. The second Brantford goal by Ponella, one that I know Rimo would like to have back. Uh, kind of an odd play, a centering pass found its way through a lot of legs. And Ponello had time to stop it and let a weak backhand go along the ice that beat Rimo down low. So that's where we are after the first period of play. 2-1, Brantford leads it in a full house here at the L.C. Walker Arena. We'll take a break. We'll come back with the start of the second period when TV's 40s coverage of the Muskegon Fury continue in just a minute. Muskegon. 